Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today we're going to be taking a look at emulation on an Oppo A73 mobile phone. Uh, so as you can see in front of me, I have the Oppo A7 III. Uh, this is a fairly popular budget handset here in Australia. I've done a fairly in-depth review on this particular phone, so uh, if you're interested in picking one of these guys up, take a look at that video. It's got some um, you know, camera reviews, etc., and performance reviews, whatnot. Anyway, as you can see, uh, this phone is a pretty slick looking phone. It's made out of plastic, but uh, you know it, it performs decently well, and like I said, it's a good budget phone. It runs a MediaTek uh, 6763T processor, sorry, uh, with 3 gigabytes of RAM. And, I mean, as a daily driver, it's pretty good. The camera isn't bad. It's even got some uh, face unlock features and stuff like that that I never really used. But, anyway, I picked this phone up uh, a while ago, specifically for the channel, and my partner was using the phone for a while. And she's since upgraded, so this was just sort of sitting in a drawer. And I took one look at it and said, you know, I wonder if I could do some gaming on it. And uh, so that's what we're going to take a look at today. So um, what I've done is, obviously, with this particular phone, I've just connected it to my Xbox One controller here. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, it's actually really, really simple. Basically, you just turn the Bluetooth on on the device, and then basically you put your Xbox controller in pairing mode. So there's a little button right up at the top there, and all you need to do is just turn your controller on, hold this button down, this little LED light or the Xbox light will flash. It should pop right up on your phone, and you just hit connect, and you'll be good to go. And you can actually sort of wake up the phone just with a button tap. So. Uh, it's pretty cool, and uh, for the emulators that I'm going to be using today, uh, basically this mach this device is is powerful enough to play Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Game Boy Advance, all that stuff. So I'm really interested to see how this uh, particular phone will perform with some more demanding emulators. So today we're going to be taking a look at PPSSPP, which is a Sony PlayStation Portable or Sony PSP emulator, and we're also going to be taking a look at Dolphin, which uh, has the ability to run Wii games and GameCube games. But we're going to take a look at GameCube games today because uh, getting the Wii to function uh, is a bit tricky because you need a Wiimote and all that sort of stuff, and you need to have an OTG cable with a sensor bar and all that sort of stuff for the motion control. So I didn't really want to mess around with that, so we're just going to be taking a look at GameCube games. Anyway, uh, let's fire up uh, PPSSPP first and take a look at how this guy Okay, performed. so first up for PSP, we've got Street Fighter Alpha, I believe it's called Max 3. Um, basically, this is a great little port of Street Fighter Alpha 3, and uh, on the PSP it runs really well. It's got tons of character lists, etc. Um, just full disclosure, I'm not very good at fighting games, so um, I'm probably going to suck pretty bad, but uh, don't hold it against me. Again, this is just sort of a performance test. Um, so I'm Ryu, or Ryu, however you want to pronounce that, and obviously I'm getting my ass kicked. Um... But, uh, first of all, the Xbox controller works really, really well. Um... And it looks like I'm in super trouble here. I don't think I'm able to land a hit. Um, anyway, the Xbox controller works really well. I don't really notice any lag or uh, delay or anything like that. So uh, rest assured that your Xbox controller will work. And uh, the other cool thing about PPSSPP is that the Xbox controller basically just works right out of the box. So as long as you uh, pair your Xbox One controller with your Android device, uh, you fire up PPSSPP and everything's matched automatically. Uh, it just works, uh, which I appreciate very much. Now, um, this seems to be running at full speed to me. Now, I love the PSP. Um, I've had two, and um, I have a ton of games for it. I think it's just a great little handheld, and I've played a lot of these games, so I'm familiar with how they run, and this one is pretty much running at full speed, um, if not full speed. Uh, so, like I said, this one definitely works. Now, I will say that, obviously, Street Fighter isn't the most demanding game in the world. Um, it's obviously 2D sprites. Um, so what I want to take a look at next is uh, something that, 
you know, has 3D polygons and stuff like that. And for that, we're going to be taking a look at Burnout Legends. So let me fire that up and we can take a look. At okay, so this is Burnout Legends. Uh, this is a really great racing game uh, for PSP. And uh, what I had to do is uh, I messed around with this a little bit and it was definitely running a little bit choppy. The music wasn't great. Um, obviously, I've turned down the music because of licensing issues. But uh, I had to turn frame skip on in order to get this guy to run properly. So uh, we'll just take a look at... Uh, um, just a single race and see how we go here. Uh, like I said, it wasn't running fantastic. Um, it definitely was playable, but it was a bit sluggish. So I found that uh, the controls were drifting a little bit and it was a bit difficult to um, actually control my car with any sort of, um, you know, kind of finesse. Um, and as you can see here, like I said, I've got frame skipping on to one and it still looks a bit choppy and I feel like there is a bit of delay with the controls here. Now, I'm reluctant to turn frame skipping on any further than one and as you can see there's some really bad slowdown here. Um, I'm reluctant to turn uh, frame skipping on, uh, you know, two or even three because I just feel like it, it becomes too choppy to be playable. Um, so, like I said, I mean, you know, when you don't have any of the other racers or any of the other traffic on the track, uh, it seems to run pretty close to full speed. But as soon as you get some of the other racers and some of the other, um, you know, sort of traffic on the road, I, that's when I feel like it really starts to bottleneck. I'm not sure why that is. I don't think it's the RAM. I think it might just be the processor. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, is it playable? Yeah, I think it's playable. Um, but it's just not, it's not a fantastic experience. So, um, with PSP, basically, you know, if you're running a less demanding game, say like a Street Fighter, works great. Um, something that's a little bit more demanding, and I mean, you know, I wouldn't classify Burnout as being super demanding. Um, it just seems to me like the control has a bit of lag. There's definitely a bit of choppiness there. Um, I would say forget running anything super demanding like God of War or Killzone Liberation on this device. It just isn't going to handle it. So anyway, let's uh, take a look at GameCube performance. Okay, guys, so here's the Dolphin emulator. Now, um, they don't really have an official release for Android, but there's a whole bunch of beta releases that you can grab that are pretty stable, in my opinion. So um, you can just go to their website, and I'll leave a link down in the description so that you can grab this uh, particular app. But um, I've had a bit of trouble configuring my Xbox One controller with uh, the Dolphin emulator, so I'm just going to essentially rely on the on-screen controls here. Uh, now, on this device, I've basically loaded up two games. I've got Wave Race, uh, Blue Blue Storm, which uh, isn't as good as Wave Race 64 in my opinion, but it's still pretty good. And then Wario World, which is a cool like little platformer. Um, now, let's try to fire up Wario World. Obviously, we're going to have to use the super convoluted on-screen controls. Alright, so it's crashing immediately, so let's see what this little log says here. So basically, it's saying that this device's performance will be terrible before it crashes. Uh, basically, I think what it's saying here is that the OpenGL driver does not support, you know, EXT buffer storage. So I'm not really sure what that means. Everything is loaded onto the internal storage of this particular Oppo phone. So, uh, if somebody knows what that means or how to fix it, definitely let me know because, uh, um, at this stage, Wario World just isn't running. We're getting the Nintendo uh, logo, and then that's it. It's crashing immediately. And it's literally telling us that the device's performance will be terrible. Um, so not really sure what's up there. Let's try Wave Race. Um, I'm not confident that we'll see any better performance. I don't know, really, really know what's going on here. It looks like it's just hanging. All right, same message. OpenGL driver does not support. Device's performance will be terrible. Please ask your device vendor for an updated OpenGL driver. I don't think that's going to happen from Oppo, but let's see if we can get it playable anyway. Um, now, from my memory, I'm, I'm pretty sure... So I'm hitting the start button. All right, there we go. So obviously it's very, very slow. I've put the FPS counter, which uh, comes built in with this particular emulator just up in the corner here, and you can see that it dips pretty significantly. Uh, right now we're getting about 20 frames per second, which is not great. Um... I mean, but, I mean, at least it's not crashing, I guess. Um, you know, there does seem to be a bit of lag here. Uh, even just, let's try a time attack, see how we go. Uh, let's put it on normal. 
Again, these menus seem to be lagging um, quite a bit. I mean, even just scrolling between characters here, it seems like it's just slightly lagging just a bit. Um, but anyway, let's give it a try and see if we can get this guy playable. I'm not confident, though. Uh, if we're looking up at that FPS counter, we are all over the shop. So, um, I mean, you know, it's, again, hovering around 20. I mean, sometimes we get a little spike. I mean, if we could get to 25, 30 frames a second, I would say that this is probably uh, playable. I'm not sure what it natively is. If somebody knows that, you can let me know. Uh, but it looks like we're topping out at 30. But now here, even just loading the track... Um, we're coming down to two frames a second, less than. Um, yeah, this does not bode well. <laughs> um, doesn't look like Wave Race Blue Storm is going to be playable on this device, unfortunately. Yeah, so obviously, as you can see, this is a complete disaster. Um, definitely not working. So Dolphin Emulator, not fantastic performance. Uh, I mean, it's unplayable, so I, I don't even know what I'm saying there. It just doesn't work. Um, so the Oppo A7 III is not great for uh, GameCube games. PSP games, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, like I said, if you want to mess around with frame skip and you can deal with sort of the choppiness, then you can definitely get some of the games uh, performing fairly well. Uh, you know, some of the less demanding games, you're going to have no problem with. Um, but, like I said, you're not going to be able to play anything really demanding like a God of War or Dante's Inferno or, uh, you know, Killzone Liberation or anything like that. But anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. That's going to do it for this particular video. If you'd like to see more emulation tests, let me know in the comments. Um, furthermore, if uh, you know you're sick of these, let me know as well. <laughs> but anyway, I uh, that's going to do it for this week. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll be back next week with another video. This is Gizmo Joe signing off.